So my last video, we uh, showed you a hike up Little Devil's Tower in Custer State Park. And in this video, we're going to show you a little bit more of Custer State Park and Custer before we head on to our next destination. Oh, God. After we completed the Little Devil's Tower hike, we decided to take a quick tour of the Needles Highway. You know, the one everyone talks about and is featured in everyone else's YouTube videos. The cool part isn't really that long, only about 14 miles from Sylvan Lake to the Legion Lake Lodge. But it's a pretty cool drive with the narrow one-way tunnels. According to the Custer State Park map, the maximum width and height for a vehicle is 8 feet wide and 9.9 .9 feet high. You know, I could have pulled my small camper through here, yeah, but they're not allowed and I wouldn't recommend it. Even the two lane sections of the highway are pretty narrow, but around every turn there's a cool view in particular of all the pinnacles that inhabit this part of the park. The next morning we cruised back to the park, entered on the west entrance, and headed for the wildlife loop. Pam had a particular thing in mind that she really wanted to see. of bison at Badlands National Park and I guess once you've seen one you've seen them all and so the herd on the right wasn't too much of an interest to us but what we came upon a little further down the road was what Pam actually came to see. We got doggies baby. Okay. So whenever you see a traffic jam in a park chances are there's wildlife to be seen and yep this is what Pam came to see. The donkeys. Although I guess they would be called burros because they're considered wild and the difference between a burro and a donkey is simply that donkeys are domesticated and burros are wild. Although honestly, it's kind of hard to see that these are actually burros. Are they really all that wild? Now they tell you never to feed the wildlife, but people pretty much ignore that in this particular case. And honestly, Pam was no exception. She came prepared. A bit further up the road, we came to another herd of bison, and there was a bicyclist who was very careful to keep the cars between him and the bison. And then you got these guys in the middle of the road, and the guy in the car, you're right, he is watching where he's going. He, don't, he does not want to be right next to that. So if you don't feel like hiking, but want beautiful scenery and almost guaranteed wildlife viewing, check out the Wildlife Loop in Custer State Park. So after we toured Custer State Park, we drove back into Custer, the city, to have a look around. First, we made a quick stop at what's billed as the oldest saloon in the Black Hills, looked into a quilt shop, which to my surprise was actually pretty cool, and stopped for lunch at the Begging Burrow. Great name with good food. Pork tenga, and I got the Mexican caprese salad with avocado on the top. Yum, yum. After, we had some ice cream at Horatio's. Hey, by the way, there is also a great pie shop in town called the Purple Pie Place. Check out all these places if you're traveling through Custer. And while we ate our ice cream, we were serenaded by a group of singers from a local women's group.
stuffing our face, we decided to wear off some calories by taking on the Custer Skywalk Trail, half mile, 239 feet of elevation gain. This, uh, this little half mile trail is no joke. Shouldn't have had that ice cream before we came up here. Ouch. Right, so we made it to the top. And from here you can see, maybe not so well, let me enlarge it a little bit. This is Harney Peak right there at about 7,242 feet. These are the spires, the Needles Cathedral Spires. And then over here is Calamity Peak. So if I pan a little bit, this over here is Buckhorn. Mountain. So Pam Bunyan here has decided we're going up, up, up some more. Ouch. Navigate this thing. Come up this and you get to see this. Alright, let's go. Pam decided she wanted to drive to Mount Rushmore in the rain at night. I wasn't enthusiastic. All right, so I feel like I should talk in hushed tones. We are at Mount Rushmore at night. There's nobody here. Of course, we're probably going to get hit by lightning any second. But it's actually pretty cool. I don't know if this is going to show up at all, but check this out. The rain cleared out overnight, which was a good thing because we had a long drive on our hands. 470 miles to Pinedale, Wyoming in the Wind River Range. Hey folks, thanks for watching. I hope you join us on our next adventure and leg of this journey. Until then, carry on. Cheers.